Denmark is a very small country, with its highest point only reaching up to a low 170 meters above sea level, it really is flat. But regardless of its level surface, there's one bird cliff in Denmark. Being only 47 meters high, the little cliff really pales in comparison to its much more impressive big brothers in Norway, Svalbard and Greenland. But nevertheless, it is standing here on the west coast of Denmark, facing the North Sea, stout and proud at the fact that a few hundred kittiwakes are calling this their home. Every year in spring, the Kittiwakes arrive to the colony from the life on the open ocean many miles from land. These cliff nesting birds are well protected from the land living predators and year after year they build their nests, lay their eggs and bring new small Kittiwakes into the world. Bulbia used to be an island, and the Viking used it as landmarks for the entrance to the ocean. But in the 12th century, drifting sand filled up part of the fjord and made Bulbia a part of the land. Until 1978, there was another 16 meter high cliff called Skarklit, named after the bird the Cormorant, which in Danish is named Skarv. That little cliff fell down in 1978 during a storm.
It is late August, and the chicks are now almost fully grown. They are now testing their strength and stamina, and getting ready to leave the nest for good. They gather in the ocean, close to the bird cliff. And, within a few weeks, they will all be gone. The kittiwakes spent the winter far from the coastline, surrounded by the ocean, and being extremely good flyers, they can manage even the hardest storms when they can throw at them. Unable to fly, the small bird cliff is left alone, and without the many birds and the warm sun on the beach, the cliff is rarely visited by anyone during the dark season. Here it stands, all alone, facing the long nights of the Nordic winter, and as the days are getting shorter, its hope might fade with the light, but still, it is eagerly scouting towards the horizon. Will they remember? Late in December, the shortest day of the year passes, and for every sunset the days become longer. Already in March, the grey shades of the cliff will change into a more colourful pattern as the small plants and flowers are starting to grow, and then, suddenly, one day in April, it happens. The monotonous sound of the rolling waves suddenly gains an extra layer as a high-pitched tone blends in from a distance. Small white dots on the sky far away, impossible to recognise by the shape alone, but the sound is unmistakable. It is them. Finally the kittiwakes are returning to the place they are calling their home. For some, the shrieking sound of the hundreds of kittiwakes might be a little noisy and unpleasant, but for others, this is the sound of spring, and the sound of another year at a little bird cliff on the west coast of Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> 